Everybody, it's Christian Prepared Mind 101. Happy Halloween. Although, for you, Halloween was yesterday. For me, it's right now. So it's kind of a little bit like time travel. It's like you're actually seeing into the past right now. It's, you never thought of videos that way, did you? Anyway, last video that I posted was about the, the uh, Yara's Chapa. And I know a lot of people are eager to see that knife in action. And I'm going to be working on that this week. However, uh, as I was looking through reading comments, I saw somebody mention a knife and it just kind of made me think. It's like, you know what? I do need to put a nice big bow on the Force to Choose series and I need to do the large knives. The large knives, or knives, choppers, whatever you want to call it. And I tie that in to the K-Bar review because I think as I laid all these out, this video is going to be very beneficial in viewing, understanding the, uh, the Chapa review. So it's just, it, it highlights some things that I was trying to talk about in the other one. So we're going to do this exactly like we did the other ones with a couple little caveats. First off, I don't have as many big knives as I do primary knives. Therefore, I'm not going to eliminate my own knives. So they're, they're going to be in play. However, there still needs to be three, and one of them needs to be budget. And once again, I need to reiterate this. and Hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. Because people get upset. All of these knives are knives that I'm giving thumbs up to. They're knives that I like. They're favorites. And I'm including the K-Bar in that. So just because something doesn't get picked doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. You've got to understand how tricky this is. Try it for yourself. Take all your favorite stuff out and force yourself to use logic to only pick three. It ain't easy. Trust me, it's not. So let's find out what knives we have to look at and let's be forced to choose the large chopper category. So these are the ones that I currently have. These are from my keepers pile. So let's go ahead and run through them and you'll see a couple obvious eliminations. We're going to have the CRKT Chance in Hell Machete. We're going to have the Kershaw Camp 10. The Condor Bushcraft Parang. The K-Bar Yarez Chapa. The JX5 Vengeful 1. The Tops SXB, the TM Hunt M18, Classic Jess X, and both versions of the Bark River Shining Mountain Bowie. You got a couple different things here. You've got some large knives that are intended by their design to serve many different functions. And those would be these four up here. Jess X, the M18, the SXB, and the Vengeful 1. You've got a couple. You've got one that is mostly a short machete. Maybe just a little bit uh, thicker than your typical machete. Kind of like in the middle. That's going to be your chance in hell. You've got a good all around. I mean, this could probably be considered something that would fit in with these. With the Camp 10, got a classic Parang in the Condor Bushcraft Parang, which I've said over and over and over again. I think the Eco Parang and the Bushcraft Parang, uh, those names should be reversed. I think the smaller one should be the Bushcraft Parang. Then you got the Yarez, which we're still, I'm still kind of getting that one down, but it's definitely something that's larger but still out of all of these knives here is the one that most feels and handles like a smaller knife. 
So even though it's got a large blade, it's light. It's light and it's agile. That makes it stand out. Then we've got classic buoy design by Bark River. If it looks like the one from Inglorious Bastards, that's because that one in that movie was actually a Mike Stewart knife <laughs> that they rehandled for the movie. And this comes in two different handles. We've got the uh, the micarta handled one, and then you've got the one that's kind of like the more classic style handle. So now we need to start uh, doing some quick eliminations and choices. So hopefully this will not go. And I haven't made up my mind except for except for the first one. But we're going to need to remove Jess X simply because as of right now. This knife no longer exists. And we've talked about that before. My only hope for the sake of the fans of this knife is the last I heard, they had already ordered another batch of these that couldn't be canceled, which means they were going to make another batch and they were going to do it back the way that it's supposed to be. I don't know about that. Maybe people will get one more chance to grab a Jess X, but I don't know. But since Nobody can actually get this right now, and because I'm no longer using it, it has to be eliminated. So, first elimination is Jess X. Secondly, we have two of the same knife here, and that is the Bark River Shining Mountain Buoy. And I will have to say, I haven't got to this review yet. Now, this classic style handle looks nice. But for me, in my uh, hands, which are kind of like right in between medium and large hands, uh, I, the handle feels a bit big to me. The micarta version, however, is very ergonomic. And I know I upset some fans of Bark River whenever I wrap a handle because they like to look at the handle. But sometimes, for those of us that use knives, function trumps aesthetics. And although this felt really good, certain knives, Wilson Wrap, will just make the knife feel completely different, more secure, and just better in every way if you're actually using it. So that is going to be my preference. So I have to eliminate one of these anyway, so I'm going to eliminate the classic style handle of the Shining Mountain Bowie. Let's quickly go through the steels that we have presented in front of us. Uh, we've got the first two, which are definitely budgets, and that's going to be 65 MN carbon steel. The Condor is going to be 1075 carbon steel. The K-Bar is 1095 CV. The Vengeful One is CPM 3V. The SXB is 1095. The TM Hunt is 01 tool steel. And the Shining Mountain Bowie is A2 tool steel. So this time we have a lot more variants with the different steels. So like we did with the primary belt knives, what I'm going to do first is go ahead and take my first choice, then figure out my budget choice, then figure out the third choice. And as I said, because we have less knives to deal with here, this time I did not exclude my own knives. So my first choice, obviously, is going to be the JX5 Vengeful 1. And yeah, yeah, it's my knife, my video, everybody, let's just throw a big steaming fit. But here's the thing, I believe in this design, and you don't have to take my word for it. You can just ask anybody that bought the first run that has it because they all pretty much say the same thing. And there is a video, a small channel called Pink G10, where he tested all the big Bark Rivers against each other. And this one came out on top on chopping. It is a multi-use blade. Multi-position handle, which this is my second multi-position handle working on a third. I can do small tasks, big tasks, it can chop, it can baton. This is my big knife. How do we define budget? Because we've kind of got a line right here. 
these three. These. Well, let's get this in order of price. So least expensive, next, next, next. Maybe for these purposes, we're gonna take the the uh, Yaris Chapa and not call that a budget knife, even though it kind of sort of is when it comes to my channel it is technically right above a hundred bucks these three are under a hundred bucks so now we have to choose between these three for our budget pick this is a lot harder than it seems because what I'm faced with right here remember I'm going for a set of three so when I break down these into sections, it's not which one of these out of this three that I think is the best, but which one I think is going to be the ch the best choice to be the set of the final three. And that's why I'm having a really tough time here. So what we have to consider, I think out of this, I'm gonna go ahead and make my elimination and I'm going to eliminate the CRKT Chanson Hell. And the reason why is out of these two, this one is primarily a machete. But as a machete, and I hope to be testing some of the, the newer, larger ones of this, as a machete, it's very short. So when compared to these two, I don't think this is going to, this has what it takes to be included in the final three. Therefore, we have the Condor Bushcraft Parang and the Kershaw Camp 10, both of which I have spoken very highly of in the past on my channel. And when Jess X was all messed up, I did a video for the people on a budget and I said if you take Jess X out of the equation the best budget large knife that can chop that can do fine tasks that can baton I still think is the Kershaw Camp 10 you know that you get one of these for about 35 bucks everybody should have one I think the the edge the final edge angle needs to be tweaked a little bit the rubber grips a little bit rough on your hands if you're chopping so I kind of had to wrap that with Wilson wrap and I had to a little tweak the sheath a little bit to give it retention but those are all minor adjustments so in order to make this choice we're gonna have to do like we did in the other videos and we're gonna have to bring back in the one that we've already got and when you bring in the one that you've already chosen it becomes pretty clear pretty fast which one's getting eliminated and that's gonna have to be the Kershaw Camp 10 because in a final set of three size wise it's pretty close to the vengeful one so the second choice is gonna be the Condor Bushcraft Parang now this is why these these uh, forced to choose videos are so interesting to me is because I honestly don't use that parang that much I like it as a tool I think it's probably one of the best parangs out there uh, but I honestly don't use it that much but when I am forced to pick three to make a final set that is as well-rounded as possible I have to go with it because it's got it's a little bit longer it can kind of do some machete work but it's it's a little bit heavier it can still chop it's like right in the freaking middle a little bit more so than that Ken ending was so the first two survivors are gonna be the vengeful one and the Condor bushcraft parang so that means we have four left that we have to choose from and that's when it's gonna get interesting now keep in mind once again I like all of these and this is subjective very 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 super subjective now out of these which I wouldn't sell or give up any of these 
but I have to consider my personal needs, my personal location, and all that sort of thing. Out of the three, or out of the four that we have in front of us right now, one stands out as going to be the one that I'm going to have to take the most care of. It, it's a freaking sick knife. Sick, I mean, I love this knife. I love just getting it out and, and, and sharpening it while I'm watching Netflix or something. But it's uncoated. It's A2 tool steel, and I live in Ohio. The way that I keep this clean is with flits, rifle gun, and knife wax or something like that. But it takes effort. It takes effort to take care of a2 or O1 when it's polished like that so I'm going to have to eliminate the Bark River Shining Mountain Bowie which might be one of the sickest knives in this collection especially with that wrap that everybody hates Just try this it's such an impressive knife when you're holding it this is very much like a knife that I wanted for the longest time when I was in high school that I never got, which was a Blackjack Anaconda 2. But this is a tough competition. I think I don't have to spell it out for you which two out of this three are going to be the next in the, in the ring. And that's going to be the TM Hunt M18 and the Topps SXB. So let's compare the two. They both kind of have that unique dual grind design. They're both made to do several different things. I'm a big fan of both of them. Neither one of them are inexpensive. Obviously the TM Hunt is going to be the, the uh, more expensive. But if I had to choose between these two, the TM Hunt handle, a lot of people think it's a Becker handle, but it's actually a, a bit different. Very similar to a Becker handle, but it's a bit different. That handle is immensely more comfortable than the SXB. The SXB is, a, is like a combat multi-purpose knife for a really big guy, which EJ is a really big guy. He's a freaking ogre. That's why that's his nickname. The TM Hunt is an excellent chopper. I honestly have not yet mastered this knife yet. But some of the things as far as you know, being able to use the lanyard and grip in the top to, to be able to do the finer tasks does work with the TM Hunt. But just the fact of it's a large knife, which usually is going to involve chopping. It's got a more comfortable handle. It's, man, EJ, don't, don't be mad. I'm going to have to eliminate the SXB. And, and it's a tough choice. But it comes down to the handle. You could have the best knife in the world, but if the handle's not comfortable... The handle is half of the knife. It just is. So, I must keep the TM Hunt for now. And we're going to eliminate the SXB. So then we come down to the final choice for the final position. So once again, we bring back the previous choices to help us make the final choice. And when you put, when you do that, it makes it pretty obvious, I think what the only logical choice is in solving this equation. And again, at the risk of repeating myself too much, aside from the first pick, I did not know when I started this video what the three were going to be. And based on the capabilities of the JX5, this is a subjective thing, my comfort with that versus my proficiency with the M18 and what is the missing link in making a set of three. So you've got a heavy multi-purpose chopper knife 
you've got a longer, lighter parang. It doesn't make sense to have another heavy knife when we have this, and I think this is what I kind of intuitively saw coming, why I wanted to do this video before I got to the review of the Yaris Chapa. What stands this knife apart from all the other knives that you saw in this video is even though it's a large knife, it feels and handles like a small knife. And I didn't really have that click when I was doing the initial impressions of this knife until I got all my other big knives out and I held them and then it became abundantly clear this is a large knife that is light that handles like a smaller knife therefore it is the logical final piece to the set of three so nothing against the TM Hunt M18 I think it's a freaking I know some people hate it I think it's a wicked awesome tool very unique put that aside and the new kid on the block is going to secure its position into the final three heavy multi-purpose knife larger multi-purpose chopper or machete style and then you've got the lightweight large knife so out of the out of that whole batch which are all knives I like they're all part of they're all my keepers okay so if I didn't pick your favorite it's still one of my favorites but I, I was forced to choose I came up with that title very intently vengeful one bushcraft parang Yara's Chapa that's my final three so that was very interesting uh, the two that I ended up with outside of the one that I knew I was gonna ch choose I didn't know I didn't know until I worked it out and that's something I've seen a couple of people that have already done some of these tag videos and I could be wrong but I'm not a hundred percent certain if they're doing it exactly the way that I'm doing it uh, which was the intent of this this tag video test you see it's not just a matter of choosing your three favorites out of your group of favorites that's easy uh, that takes no thought whatsoever what makes it difficult is choosing three out of your favorites that complement each other as a set so when you have these final three out of your group you've got something that pretty much can handle all the different tasks that you could possibly need uh, from your set of knives that's what makes it difficult so out of that final three, two of the three are pretty much readily available. Uh, the Chapa, that's not going to be hard to find. Uh, the Bushcraft Parang's been out for a couple years. That's typically not that hard to find. The people that asked me about the Vengeful One, uh, we got shorted on the first run. It was 250 and then it became 200 because 50 blanks just kind of went poof and vanished in shipping between Heat Treat and Bark River. So. That was a kick in the nuts. But uh, steel's been ordered and they should be cutting another batch here before too long. And that's going to be a batch of 300 due to the popularity of the knife. So uh, people that are just seeing this for the first time, that's a big slab of 3V. And, you know, the base price, you know, for standard like black micarta handles is only 250 So those are my choices. I don't think that I have any other sets of equipment or gear or whatnot that I have enough of to do any more of these forced to choose uh, because it has to be something that I actually have it just can't be I just can't choose them off the freaking internet so anybody wants to uh, go ahead and tag themselves in this I definitely I haven't I've been letting people tag themselves but in this instance I'm gonna tag a couple people and these are people that I know have a lot of large chopper knives. So I'm going to tag Iratus Jackalope, Angry Jackalope. I know he's got a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to tag Tactical. Those two guys, those are, those are two of my first picks that I generally will send choppers to. 
uh, when I'm passing stuff around. So I know they have a lot. That's going to make it really difficult for them to have to work this problem out. Trust me, guys. You'll see. It's not easy. So there you go, folks. Chris from Prepared My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I'll have links to all these knives in the description box below if you want to check them out. It's Halloween. Got to do some trick-or-treating here in a couple hours. Yay. I'll walk the kids around. And the kids know. They're like, it's just like a Halloween tradition. Dad gets all the smarties. It's just the way it works. So, look forward to that. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be working on that Choppa review this week. So, see you next time.